Svalbard, an Arctic archipelago halfway between Norway and the North Pole. These scientists are part of a group of eight from the Norwegian Polar Institute. Their mission? To better understand how climate change is affecting one of the world's most majestic mammals. The polar bear. But in order to do that, they need to get up close. And that means tracking, spotting, then tranquilizing the animals. Over the course of this year's mission, the team tags a total of 53 bears, providing a priceless insight into how they're coping with a warming planet. Once anaesthetized, the team has about two hours to work on the bear, the most perilous part of the mission. This is a big male. He's about probably 14, 15 years old. His teeth, but he's, he's got really nice teeth for his age. And he's, we can see that he's been fighting a little bit. Ah, well. hey. On the ice, the scientists get to work on the unconscious bears, taking measurements, tissue samples, and fitting tracking devices. All this while monitoring their vital signs. The samples taken by the researchers are flown back to the Norwegian scientific icebreaker, the Kronprins Harkon. The annual expedition is unique in its kind. On board the ship, there's everything the researchers need for weeks at sea, including a state-of-the-art laboratory where the samples, like these fat biopsies, will be analysed. Really in a region that's heating three to four times faster than the global average, Better understanding polar bears is crucial in the overall study of climate change. At the moment, we're facing major climate change, particularly in the Arctic and especially in Svalbard. There's been a substantial decrease in the ice, and the polar bear is an Arctic animal that uses the ice to move, feed, hunt seals, and reproduce. The Norwegian Polar Institute has studied the bear population in Svalbard for over four decades. With today's technology, they can monitor their every movement and vital signs over the course of a year. The thing that is really cool here is that you see this straight line. That means yes, swimming. Exactly, yes. swimming, exactly. Oh. And that's a pretty long stretch of, uh, of swimming. It's like, uh, I don't know, 100, 200 kilometers almost. This is a little device that allows us to monitor the bear for a year. It records its body temperature and heart rate. Why is this interesting? Because these two parameters are linked to the energy expenditure of the bear. And energy expenditure is the data that we're really interested in, to know how much energy they need to spend as their environment changes. Over in the ship's laboratory, Laura Pirard analyzes samples of bear fat using a groundbreaking method. We developed a technique where we cut the tissue very finely into small slices and then keep it at the bear's body temperature. This allows us to get a lot of information on the amount of pollution in the animal, its state of stress, and then we can look at how this stress is impacting the cells. The scientists have confirmed two of their hypotheses. The bears are indeed coming under increased stress and are being exposed to an increasing number of pollutants. Yeah, so the pollutants that the polar bear are exposed to, so they originate from uh, industry, uh, from agriculture, and, uh, and, and these pollutants that they are exposed to, they are very persistent. So they stay in the environment for a long time. And then those pollutants, when they enter the Arctic, so, so they are then taken up by the food web. And then they are taken up by plankton, 
which is then eaten by fish and then by seals and then, then uh, by polar bears. The environment is becoming more and more unpredictable. The advantage of the polar bear is that it lives for a long time, and that means it learns from experience throughout its lifetime. So they have a certain potential for adaptation. For example, we've noticed that in recent years, the polar bears in Svalbard, those that are somewhat local, will tend to hunt more reindeer. So it's not all bad news. Their ability to adapt and protected status have enabled the population of polar bears in Svalbard to grow in recent years. But given current climate projections, experts are asking themselves for how much longer will this trend continue?